Hi, welcome to another edition of Wired for Wealth, guiding you to achieve lasting financial freedom and peace of mind. My name is John McGregor, your host. I wanna be your antidote to your financial struggles. My goal for you is to help you think better so you can do better, so you can feel better about your financial situation. All right, folks, we've got a very, very important episode. In fact, it's so important, I'm gonna break it out over time into a series because this subject that we're gonna talk about is affecting so many people, a majority of people in society around the world. And it's the four letter word that we dread, and that's debt. That's right, it has turned, and debt has turned into a four letter word for most people. And I'm not talking about good, good debt because there's very good debt that you can utilize to build assets. I'm not talking about that at all. This is bad consumer debt that perhaps you have accumulated for a very, very long time. And I'm gonna share with you a very effective and simple strategy that you can, you can incorporate immediately to get a hold of your, head, your debt and eliminate that once and for all. So don't forget to hit subscribe because you don't wanna miss future episodes on this very, very important topic. And do your friends and, and families and, uh, and family and colleagues a favor and pay it forward. Share this video with them because it could really help them as well get a hold of their financial situation because this is a serious issue. It's not just about having credit card debt. It's, a, it's about how it's affecting your entire life because research will show you people with debt are struggling in life it's, 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 it's eroding their standard of living and it's actually eroding their health. I mean, we're seeing a majority of people that say they have debt, it's affecting their health and standard of living and overall happiness. And, and if you've watched any of my videos, you'll know I talk a lot about stress because money is the root cause of stress, right? Any research will st study will show you money is the root cause of stress. And stress is the leading cause of our most deadly diseases and health ailments and, and divorce and insomnia and high blood pressure. And debt is a leading cause of financial stress. That's why this episode is so, so very important. In fact, because of this, because of the overwhelming number of people that are talking to me about debt, and I'll get into that in a second, why more so now than ever, more people are talking to me about debt than ever. I put together this free download, the five sure ways to get out of debt this year. The feedback on this has been incredible. It's free on my website. I would encourage you to go ahead and download this. This is a game changer of a document. It really gets, gets deep into what you could be doing immediately on top of this strategy that I'm gonna share with you. So we're in this situation, you may have heard this term called stagflation. Stagflation is something that we have not seen in a very, very long time, and it's a very dangerous economic situation. We are headed to a recession, folks. There's no doubt about it. In my opinion, and in the opinion of people much smarter than me, we are headed, if not already, in a recession. And right now we're seeing the cost of things go through the roof, right? You've been to the grocery store, you've been to the gas station, the, uh, the furniture store, the electronics store, Everything you buy is going up. And in my opinion, and the opinion again of more pe uh, 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 of a lot of people, we are only at the beginning of this inflation scenario. <clears throat> As a result, what we're seeing is that interest rates are rising. The Federal Reserve has one tool, basically one tool in their back pocket to, to minimize um, uh, inflation, and that's to ri raise interest rates. And we've already started, they've already started raising interest rates and they plan on raising interest rates going forward. In fact, a lot of financial institutions say that we may see 10 to 15 interest rate rises over time. So what does that, what does that mean to you? It means that the cost of your debt, the cost of those credit cards, those interest rate, uh, those interest rates and the, and the minimum payments that you're seeing are only going to go up. And I think that's why so many people, more so than ever, are reaching out to me on this subject of debt. I mean, I'm hearing it from emails and people that I run into and, 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 and podcasts that I'm on. Debt and the rising interest rates is really affecting a lot of people and people are really scared. That's why it's so, so important that you get a hold of this now before interest rates continue to rise. And again, I'm gonna show you a simple strategy. But you know, it's interesting. There's actually a medical term called debt anger syndrome. That's right. Studies show people with debt are more angry in life than others. 
They're angry at themselves for getting them, getting them in the situation in the first place. They're angry at the mailman for delivering their credit card bills. I mean, maybe you can relate to that. They're angry at their spouse for not making enough money. They're angry at their boss for not paying them enough. They're even angry at their children for needing braces or, or wanting to go to summer camp. This debt is, is leading to anger and it's making their life miserable. It's, 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 it, 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 it's just this, this underlying issue that so many people are dealing with and they don't know how to get out of it. But I'm telling you, you can get out of it. I've seen it countless times with my students. If you have a process and a plan in place that you stick to. All right, so if you've seen some of my other videos, I talk about this thing called widening the gap, okay? Widening the gap. The gap between your income and the amount of money you spend. Right now, 78% or 80% of people don't have a gap, right? These are the, these are the 80% of working adults that are living paycheck to paycheck. 80% of working adults living paycheck to paycheck. They don't have a gap. They spend what they make. So my goal in all my videos and my courses and everything I do is about widening that gap, giving you that cushion in between. So you have money for the future. You have money to live the life that you deserve and the life that you desire. So what we're talking about is how to widen the gap, minimizing and lowering your credit, uh, your, 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 uh, your credit. Um, all right, so this is a simple strategy called the avalanche plan, all right? And there are many, there are several plans that you can incorporate in your life. The key is to pick one and to stick with it, okay? I just happen to like this one because mathematically it's the most cost efficient and it's just common sense. So let me just quickly guide you through this. So this is my terrible mountain, right? I'm going down. And the reason it's called an avalanche plan is because once you start tackling one, it just turns into an avalanche and just keeps going on and it accelerates your ability to pay down your debt, okay? So the key though, from the beginning, is most people that I've worked with don't even know how much debt they have, right? It's, they've got three to five, if not more credit cards. They don't know what the balances are. They don't know what the interest rates are. They don't know what the terms are. So the first thing you need to do is kind of get organized financially around your debt. List out all your debt. That's your credit cards, that's your student loans, that's your car loans and other consumer debt, right? That's the beginning, okay? That's just, that's almost half the battle is just understanding and seeing on a piece of paper how much debt you have, okay? So once you do that, I want you to organize it by the highest interest rate all the way down to the lowest rate. In this case, in this example, this is a real life example, 26% all the way down to 4%, okay? Once you do that, then I want you to focus, I want you to focus prime, um, exclusively on this higher interest rate loan, okay? We're not gonna ignore these. You still need to pay the minimum balances on each one of these, right? You don't, wanna, you don't wanna do that. You want creditors calling and you certainly don't wanna affect your credit score any more than it has been. But we're gonna focus on this first one, the big one, right? Any mathematician, any statistician will tell you this is the most uh, uh, cost efficient way to tackle your debt. So, you're gonna focus on this and paying this off and once you eliminate this high interest rate uh, loan, then we're gonna go here. And we're gonna take the amount that you were paying on this one and we're gonna apply it to here on top of the minimum payment that you were making. You follow me here, does that make sense? I mean, it's pretty common sense, right? This is a basic, simple strategy, but it works. And I will tell you, just having a strategy will give you a lot of peace of mind in your life. So then once we do this, right, and then it goes here, and then we go here, we can go here. You can kind of see this cascading avalanche effect. And what I've seen firsthand is that people, when they start doing this and they pay off this first one, it mentally just kind of motivates them. It turns into sort of a game to pay off their, 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 other, uh, their other debts and their other credit cards. And they say, oh my gosh, I did this, and now I got this one, and then I can do this one. So psychologically, it could be really beneficial to do that. Now look, there are a lot of other things that you need to be doing on top of 
the strategy, the debt payoff strategy that you choose. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be addressing other strategies going forward in further episodes. But again, I like this one a lot. Other things that you need to be doing. In my experience, most people have no idea how much they're spending every month. And I know, I know, it's that word budget. It's not a four letter word, but it's pretty close, right? We hate it, it's like diet and exercise. You gotta get your money, on, uh, you, you gotta get your spending under control, right? Most people have no idea where their money goes every month, right? A budget, once set up, right? There is an initial hurl to get it all set up, but once set up and you, and you strategize time during the week, 15 minutes per week to take a look at your budget, that's all it is. And don't do this alone. If you have a par significant partner or other, significant other, you wanna get everyone involved, right? Once you set up your budget, it's so much easier to maintain. So enough of the excuses. It's time to get serious with your money. I've got other videos about how to set up your budget properly and what to do and look at your needs versus your wants versus your savings and, and what's, the, what's, what's the proper uh, percentage allocation within your budget. I'm not gonna get into that here, but the key for you to think about is you got to set up a budget. That is the number one reason people fail financially. They don't manage their money. Look, a, a budget is simply telling your money where to go rather than what happens to so many people waking up one morning or one day wondering where all your money went. And that's why 78% of people are living paycheck to paycheck, working adults living paycheck to paycheck. 65% of people could not come up with $500 for an emergency expense. 40% will be entirely reliant on social security or some other government assistant program for the retirement. The reason is they never took time to budget and monitor their spending. So you got a budget and you really need to manage your expenses. You'll be surprised when you look at all the money that you've spent over the last 30 to 60 to 90 days, you'll be shocked where all that money has gone. All the subscriptions that you've signed up for that you don't even know were there. All that money that you could be saving, putting, putting else could be applied here, and this cascading, this avalanche effect could come so much faster, so much quicker, and you could really knock down this debt so much quicker. A couple other things you really need to think about, especially in this environment, the stagflation environment, this high inflation, low growth, the fact that your income is not keeping up with the cost of living increases, right? is a side hustle. And there are so many side hustles available today with your iPhone. I mean, just, an, uh, I don't wanna get into that, but there's just so many other ways that you can be ma making money on the side. And the other thing that uh, I, someone was just talking about is just selling stuff that you don't need anymore. I mean, if you could, you probably have stuff in your, in your, in your home that you could sell and that's a thousand bucks. You could probably come up just on stuff that you sold at your home and think of what that would do to your credit situation and your overall life in general. So I hope that was helpful. If anything, I hope this opened your eyes and inspired you to get serious about your debt because when you do, it is an absolute game changer, all right? So don't forget, great download, five sure ways to get out of debt this year. This is a great, great read for you that goes a lot deeper into what I just explained here. Don't forget, hit subscribe and leave a comment with love, love to hear. And just remember this, it is never, ever too late to start your journey to financial freedom and peace of mind. You have the greatest power and that's the power of choice. It's your choice. It's not a matter of chance. It's a matter of choice and it's not something to wait for. It's something for you to go out and get. This download, I've got other downloads on my website that you can, that you can get immediately to start your journey to financial freedom, abundance, peace of mind, happiness, and joy. Check it out now. So stay tuned for future episodes. We'll see you again soon. Upward and onward. Take care. Bye-bye.